hello everyone welcome back to the new video today in this video we'll be looking into a method for improving your rack pipelines and specifically the retrieval part of it because i'm sure right i mean you must have tried on various embeddings but whenever you see those top k results you see a lot of mess happening over there right and also often with the queries such as what are the movies that were released on 2005 how many of the restaurants have rating greater than four for indian cuisine the idea is to kind of understand the attributes around which the filters have to be applied and then get you the relevant answers. So with this method which is self-querying retrieval, the idea is to decompose your original query queue into a free-flowing language and some filters. And post then you can apply these filters prior to firing your natural language onto your vector databases to reduce the search space significantly while being really relevant to the query that was originally asked for. So let's delve into it and see what this method is about. Before that, my name is Prakhar Mishra and on this channel you'll find me explaining concepts, papers, short videos, all of that in the domain of AI and machine learning. So in case you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the like button, check out other videos on this channel and if you like the content, do subscribe to the channel and feel free to share it across with your friends to whosoever you think might be interested in such content. So let's jump onto the video. So let's think of a scenario where you have documents and each document is nothing but a restaurant review. So let's say the reviews are the food is good but bad service. And the system also allows you to give you some ratings. So let's say you give it three star out of the five one. And the other could be let's say best pasta I had till date but not so good mocktails. And you see a review that is let's say four star. So I think you get a hang of it, right? What data are we really talking about over here? Now, the system that you are asked to build is, let's say, you should have a chat interface wherein you can come, ask your queries, and there should be a system at the back end that understands all of these reviews, aligns it with what query you're trying to ask, and gives you a response accordingly. And let's say some samples of these queries are, get me places above three star that offer a good pasta so that's a legit question that you could ask right so now if you break down this query so the major aspects that we need to understand from this query is like he's looking for pasta that needs to be good so that's the sentiment attached to a dish for the places that have at least three star ratings so that's another aspect that he wants the system to understand so now with current rack systems if you go about having a vector database you embed each of these queries into embeddings store them and you generate an embedding for your query as well and you fire it to the vdb and the back end will calculate some sort of closeness measure against each of the document embeddings and possibly return let's say top one is if what we asked for then it will return some embedding and it's text saying okay this is something that really matches to what you asked for you understand right i mean this kind of queries are not really suitable for the original rag systems that we usually learn about because it's not just about doing a semantic or syntactic match it's more about understanding the aspects its sentiment deriving the filters and accordingly construct your query and then fire it to your vector database to get the relevant answer so that is where self-querying retrieval comes in play that takes this original query that the user has fired into a black box for now and gives out your filters that you need to be applied the text that you should query for against the semantic similarity or or any kind of similarity measure so yeah i think with this you get a hang of what we are getting into so let's exactly see what this self querying retrieval does i mean it's really simple but yeah let's look into it so as soon as you have your data set you should first know what all attributes you need to index separately under your payload. So in this case, it could be, let's say, number of stars, dishes, dish, sentiment, location, drinks, ambience, and so on and so forth. And then you need to have a system that is able to extract all of it and create, let's say, a dictionary object out of it. And you use that along with the document text and then index into a vector database by creating embedding for the documents and the dictionary elements go as payload or metadata. Now, when your query comes in, you would already know, right, what all attributes are possible for your system to understand. So 
you take those and draft a prompt for your LLM that is able to extract these things from your original query now. So now your query breaks down into possible attributes that you can extract and then your original text over here. Now to improve the performance, you can go ahead and add a couple of examples so that your system knows a little bit of nitty gritties in terms of if there are any edge cases that you're trying to make it learn. So finally, once you break down your query into this format, you first apply these filters and get your search scope down to, let's say, if originally just the semantic similarity would have given, let's say, 10,000 matches. After applying filters, it might get to, let's say, 800. Now you just apply your semantic similarity over the original queries against these 800 documents and you should have your results that look much, much better than simply doing semantic similarity for such use cases. So yeah, that is it. So this is as simple as just doing an LLM based query and breaking down your query into the attributes that you think cover the entire spectrum of the domain that you're talking about and then just logically firing first the filters and then the semantic similarity to get you the relevant results. Cool. So that was one of the use case of wherein you can think of applying self querying retrieval. So do let me know in the comments if you guys have already tried it before and what was your experience with it. So I think there's nothing more that I have in mind to share right now. So yeah, let's call it off. And if you enjoyed the content, do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll meet you in the next one. Bye bye and take care.